Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Mr. Emerald Man back again with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing my custom made rubber pants in Batman from the new movie, The Batman. Uh, I have been waiting for this movie ever since it was announced, I believe back in 2020. I was really excited for the movie. I was really excited for like just all the products and stuff like that. Unfortunately, I felt like Lego personally let me down with their Batmobile. So I took it upon myself to make my own Batmobile as well as my own rendition of the Batman. I made a, I made a version one of both of these actually. I made a version one of this one, which you could go check it out on my other on my other YouTube video that I made. And I also made a version one of the Batmobile. However, I never reviewed that on my channel because I thought that it wasn't really worthy of reviewing. However, here I have version two. Both of these, I feel like they came out way better than whatever Lego put out. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into this review. Taking a look at the minifigure, um, basically what I did is just some simple, uh, let's start with the cowl. So basically what I did with the cowl was I just took a standard Batman cowl that, uh, that came with the minifigure. I hollowed out the, the eye socket so that way you were, you could actually see the Lego minifigure eyes rather than having that weird white headband thing. Then I, I did sand a bit of the ears down, which you could kind of tell. I tried to make the, make it as narrow as possible because uh, the Batman's ears uh, are not actually that wide. So I tried to make it as narrow as I could. Added a bit of paint detail with the stitching so that way you could actually, uh, the stitching that it has, I think it personally came out good. Uh, obviously I sanded down, uh, I sanded it down to make it like a half cowl. And then with that being said, I moved on, I then moved on to the Lego minifigure. Uh, I changed nothing of the body. What Lego gave us, that's what I used since I thought I could never add as much detail as they did. The back, again, it's all the same. Kept it, didn't change anything. However, obviously with the eyes, I painted it black because I wanted it to be, you know, how Robert Pattinson has that black mascara or the black paint in his eyes. That's what I wanted to keep there. Uh, switched out the Vader, Vader. Uh, um, not the helmet, the Vader, uh, the bottom part, I switched that out because I didn't think it looked all that good. I decided to switch it out for a Lego Ninjago half mask, sanded it down a bit so that way the, the cowl could sit perfectly on the head. Putting that down, I ended up with this, and I gotta say, um, this came out perfectly. I think it looks amazing. I'm not, like I said, I've said this in a lot of my videos, I'm not an expert in painting, I'm especially not an expert in painting Lego minifigures, but the fact that I managed to do this with the, the level of, of uh, with, with the level of skill that I have, I think it came out perfect, I think it came out great, I wouldn't change anything on this Lego minifigure, I'm proud of it, like I said, I was really, really disappointed when with uh, the Lego Batman that we had, that Lego produced, I, I didn't think that it was good enough. I didn't think it looked all that accurate with the with the helmet piece. So I took it upon myself to make this. And like I said, it looks menacing. It looks accurate uh, or as accurate as I could get it. I love it. If there's anything I would change, I would probably add some stitching here uh, or some paint stitching here because I do know that it moves, the stitching also moves towards the back of the head. I didn't see that at first, so I would probably add that. But yeah, other than that, this is my Lego Batman minifigure. Uh, now we're moving on with the car. Moving on with the car, uh, basically what I did is I really liked the concept that Lego was going for. However, I didn't think that it was accurate or to scale. In fact, when putting it side by side with the tumbler, I thought that the tumbler, it was nearly as big as the tumbler. And I didn't think that that was just accurate. I, I didn't think it was accurate at all. So I had it, I knew I had to scale it down. So that way it could fit, uh, obviously to scale with, with a tumbler. So what I did is I completely remodeled the front. Obviously, uh, it doesn't look all that good. I had to completely remodel the front. So I think it looks pretty accurate. The windshield, I, all the windshields that I have just couldn't fit with the design that I was going for. So I decided to go with this, uh, Technic piece, I believe. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what it's called, but I decided to go with that piece right there. And I, a big part for me with Lego cars is just, I love it when there's, you know, I love it when doors can open, when there's actual opening doors. I hate when you have to take off the roof. Obviously I have to take off the roof to put a Lego minifigure in here, but I just love that there's 
when there's opening doors, I feel like it adds a bit of realism. Like there, the Lego minifigure could actually get in, open well, opening a door. And yeah, the tires, uh, I think I got them as accurate as I possibly could with the with the pieces that I had. Um, I, the sides I'm not necessarily proud of. However, I'm glad that I did manage to get it sleek looking at first with my first rendition of this it did not look sleek at all and so i obviously had to just play around with it until i eventually got what i wanted uh hood i think it looks a lot more accurate to to the car than when i first when i first made this thing and the front not as accurate as i would like but still it gets the point across moving on to the back uh i decided to use these red or it was like um not cheese slopes it, it looks kind of like a pizza slice i decided to use that because i thought it looked perfect for the lights i remember seeing somebody on instagram use it i decided i want to use it so that's what i added the engine it's straight from it's straight from the lego batman set i just literally ripped it off stuck it on mine and that that was that same with this piece right here i believe it's also part of the engine piece i took that piece stuck it on here worked perfectly the back actually was less of a hassle than the front was i also like these harry potter ones i thought that it worked perfectly for the lego for the batman set obviously like when using it with the original set i thought that it was way too big and you could barely notice it however when i scaled it down i think that it works perfectly that's a detail that you could definitely notice and the sides i didn't talk much about this but i like how I, how I got it more accurate to to the Batman card compared to my first rendition. And then, and then taking a look at the inside, uh, literally just got the, the original sets of uh, wheel and a sort of sticker pieces and uh, stuck it on mine. Okay, so that's basically a rundown of what I did. I do want to give a bit of uh, what I used as a foundation to start this car. So I had used the Lego DeLorean uh, instructions to kind of start off with it since I really like uh, what the Lego DeLorean like kind of the build. I like how it started off and I figured this would be a perfect uh, start to the car. So basically what I did is I followed the first four, maybe five instructions. I kept I skipped a couple of them, but I followed the first four or five. After that, I just started messing around with the pieces. I started moving it around i started just taking off pieces putting on pieces obviously the back is just like i said completely um straight from the original lego batman set that they first came out with however i feel like to i feel like this is more to scale with my other lego sets that i have and i personally love it it looks amazing i'm happy to say that i made a car that i personally love and yeah and then just because I want to show that it actually is to scale with the Lego Tumblr, here it is next to obviously the Lego Tumblr. Like I said, the original one was literally just as big as the Tumblr, if not a little bigger. Uh, obviously the Tumblr is more wide. However, the other the other Lego set, the other Lego Batman car was a bit more longer and also taller. So I didn't like that, so I knew I had to get it to scale, and like I said, just looking at this through the camera, it looks just as amazing as looking at it in real life. And then just to show you what I what other references I used, here is the Lego Hot Wheel ver variation of this. Uh, obviously, like I said, it kind of fits to scale with the Lego, so this is another reference that I used to make this, or more specifically, to make this. And like I said, I'm just really proud of this car. I, I love it. I think it looks amazing. And I did a, a pretty good job making this build. So anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here. Subscribe if you felt inspired by this. To make your own Lego Batman Robert Pattinson minifigure. Or if it inspired you to make the muscle car in the movie. Uh, anyways, guys, I do have a few more updates that i would like to let you guys know i did start college and that's been going great i'm actually taking a video editing class so i'm hoping that this video would be edited way better than any other video that i've edited i think i'm doing a pretty good job in that class so like i said if you notice a, a difference in that it's because i'm taking that class i have way better equipment way more uh, stuff to edit with but yeah that's gonna be it for today's video um Subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Later.